Hi everybody. I hope that you can hear me okay. Um, I did order one of those little mics so that when I'm outside mm, grounding and earthing um, and decide to share here on my channel that you'll be able to hear me a little better. So today is Tuesday. What is it? The 29th of September 2021. Um, if you didn't watch my video yesterday, I said something on there towards the end about um, Schumann spike incoming. And so it's definitely incoming. I do believe this one is from a CME. There's different things that can make that Schumann resonance spike. And one of those is um, sometimes when the Russian um, place that monitors the Schumann, <laughs> my chicken, hi babies, um, sometimes if there's a storm directly over top of where they're monitoring the Schumann, it'll cause fluctuations. Sometimes it's from Gaia and the sun, which is, you know, all consciousness responding to the collective energy. And many of us know that we're going through quite the transformation here on the earth plane as the human race. And um, other times I wonder if it is, you know, um, manipulated by those that are trying to control us um, and using CERN and, and um, the harp to make that fluctuate. And so regardless of what the Schumann spikes are at the whatever, any current one, just um, pay attention to what it makes you feel like. Um, there's a lot of people experiencing vertigo. A lot of people are experiencing downloads, ear downloads, ringing in the ears. Um, thankfully today I'm feeling very euphoric and I've been dealing with a lot of anxiousness and stuff so it's refreshing today. Um, been outside a lot and paying attention to nature, my animals, not only my beautiful horses and my chickens, but um, the wildlife that come into my yard. And so everybody just seems to be soaking up this, these light codes from the sun today. So I feel this Schumann resonance that's incoming specifically is, you know, the Christ consciousness. Um, and so wherever there's density within us, we're going to feel that. And we'll have to adjust our bodies. So make sure you're drinking lots of clean water. Um, I'm noticing a really, really, I'm hungry today, like super hungry. So make sure you're eating because eating can help ground you. Um, and because, you know, our food and everything's been hijacked, make sure you just bless everything that you partake into your body. And allow for, wow, the sun just got super intense. I got cold a minute ago. So allow, allow yourself to hear your body and what you need. And so no matter what it is, because we can't get away from all the nefarious things that um, some have taken upon themselves to, you know, put into our food, put into the air, put into the soil. Sometimes we can't get away from that. So just pray over it. That's, that's one way to bless everything um so make sure you're listening to your body and um the last couple of nights i've slept really good um but prior to that up with the heart palpitations and i've been all checked out by a physician so i'm a healthy person i just feel like we're we're ascending not just us but the planet and it's all about our consciousness and paying attention to that um and again, listening to our body, listening to our vessel, and listening to um, our intuition more than ever, and opening up that channel and that free flow of energy, right? Um, feels so good to be out in the sunshine today. Feels so good to have my root chakra planted on the ground to the earth. And I don't know what it is, but 528 hertz music. I've been just walking around doing my 
chores and tending to everybody with that 528 hertz playing in the background. Um, so in the present moment, thank you for, for joining me. I'm feeling very euphoric. But it's important for us to realize, you know, as above, so below, we're connected. Everybody and everything is connected. Another thing that I was thinking about, too, in the Schumann, sometimes the, well, I know this affects it, the technology that's been rolled out is, you know, going into our ionosphere and the magnetosphere, and then it's responding to the new technology. A lot of people bragging about the this with the G. Um, to me, I don't really feel like that's a good thing. However, um, do what you can do to protect your aura and your energy field, and it definitely affects our brain waves, but what's in most coherence is the magnetics of our heart. And that's really the truth of the way, right? And that's what the most important thing is coming through, is to get into that heart space. And, you know, we always have this battle on which wolf we want to feed, the egoic mind that can go into fight or flight, or we want to feed the heart space and trusting the divine plan, trusting that creator um, doesn't create accidents. And so it's our time to rise in our sovereignty and to make sure you're claiming your power within yourself. And it comes right here from that coherence in your heart space. So I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to say a blessing, do a drumming for a few minutes, and then draw a couple of cards for messages from Spirit to assist us, to guide us, um, to encourage us, to have us go inner for awareness. And I'm super thirsty, like I should have brought water out here because that's another thing to increase your water, get your body in water. If you can take magnesium, take magnesium. I started taking it um, three times a day to help my body um, adjust. You know, I've gone through deep grief. I'm in deep grief. And so I think that's why the light codes are helping me to see the higher perspective, I feel like the veil is very thin right now, too. Like, I feel my son and spirit very close to me today, um, and spirit in general. So I think it's really causing that euphoric energy. So we're going to say a blessing and offer up tobacco to spirit. That is the way the indig indigenous honor when they do drumming. And so I carry that forward in great respect to do the same. God, creator, source of the universe, we understand that we're all connected and that we have been going through this process of transformation, of letting go of baggage, getting out of the competition and lack mentality for those of us that are awakened. We give thanks today and we're going to do a little bit of drumming for a journey we're going to do a little bit of drumming to break up any density that many, any of us may be feeling within our vessels. And we give so much thanks. And we ask that this tobacco be offered to you out of respect, out of thankfulness, out of gratitude. And we just finally ask that you hear our prayers, that you hear our clarion call and our trumpets sounding. <clears throat> My animals love when I do this out here. My chickens are just standing tall, looking and listening. Love frequency.
a little bit of a hill, so felt like I was not quite relaxed into it, but it felt good. I felt like this, I could visualize this energy, right? Um, if you look at an image of the Earth and the ionosphere and the magnetosphere and what that buffer is that not only protects us from too much sun energy, too high of frequency, burnout, but I felt like this energy through my root chakra up through my crown to where I'm um, this this connectivity, right? Um, so make sure you're breathing deep. back density coming up for me where you paying attention to your body um, so feeling supported came up for me I don't like doing these too long because I'm gonna do a, a couple cards as well but we're gonna go first with the cryon Oracle and cryon is a beautiful channeler that helps us to realize that we're energy to realize that we are a frequency that spirit God creator is <laughs> we're created in the likeliness that we have everything within us to ascend to be remembering that we're all connected and to feel the blessing of that to know that we're all here at this time in this space on this earth for a purpose for a higher purpose so many people are <laughs> the turkeys are coming over here so many people are awakening. You could be feeling also hot flushes through your body. Again, just keep hydrating. Ground, get in water, eat food, whatever it is to keep you in your body. If you have fear come up, look at it. See what it is for you. If you can't pinpoint it, breathe. A lot of times I can't pinpoint the fear when that fear is coming up. So I'll just breathe and... Um, do whatever it is to help me ground to balance a lot of times I'll just call upon the Creator Yeshua be with me Yeshua be with me and that will help everything pass another way is to if you're experiencing vertigo hold on let me finish this you know do some exercises to help stimulate that vagus nerve that runs throughout our whole body right I massage behind my ears, that soft part of my skin on both sides, and I'll just start mm, breathing. You'll feel tension there if you've been, um, you know, assimilating to everything like many of us are. So what is the ener energy for this sharing today from the cryon energy, the en energetic master? And then I gotta actually get out of the sun and go get a drink of water. We know that there's going to be an incoming Schumann spike. I actually called it yesterday during my Mercury retrograde sharing. So just keep knowing that we are leveling up. Our DNA is changing. Not the kind we, not artificially. Higher self. Tap into your higher self. Isn't that beautiful? Let me open up. That's what I'm feeling, that euphoria today. Is like I feel like all my bodies, my light body, my higher self, my third density body are all just really in alignment today and thank god because i've been going through a lot of stuff so and i opened right up to it so and i didn't bring my glasses my eyeglasses out here so bear with me i'm going to try to read as much as i can getting in touch with your higher self will create balance within you and will also help you with others so important right now we're in libra season that's about relationships 
tapping into your higher self. So therefore, relationships can be harmonious. The higher self is the key. There is a benevolent system that loves you and sees you as you see your children. How can getting more in touch with your higher self also help with others? To some, this is a puzzle. Again, Cryon tells me the humans think in such a linear fashion that we often put things into a box no matter what it is. The higher self is an extremely divine and personal part of each human being. The part that we say touches the creator. Some people see it as the God inside part or the part of your soul that has been on the one foot on the other side of the veil. What I say, I feel like the veil's super thin today. I'm tapping into my higher self. My son and spirit's like been really um, here with me always, but I feel it today, right? Some people see it as the God inside part or the part of the soul that is one has one foot on the other side of the veil. What is hiding, however, is how your relationship to your higher self might profoundly change your personality. When humans go to worship, do they think I'm going to worship today to get in touch with myself and help those around me? Normally not. Perhaps they instead go to accomplish something as dictating by their dictated by their culture. Or perhaps they think God somehow expects it. Or there may be consequences if they don't. It's the God in a box scenario that Cryon tells us about. It's just a linear action that does not come close to matching the magnificence of God or the human being. They just report to the building. Getting in touch with your higher self is cementing the relationship with the energy of the creation, God. It's not needed or expected. It's not a have to for some in doctrine. It's personal choice to change the to change and become closer to the oneness of all things. Can you believe it? It's not connected to a human organization or a set of rules. Is there a set of rules on how to love your children? Can you put love in a box? When you are in tune with your higher self, you are in tune with your total self. This means you are a far more benevolent person who creates joy where you walk and who understands that love and compassion are the real tools of humanism. Pulling this card is a wonderful synchronicity and acknowledgement of the beautiful relationship you have created with your higher self. So this Schumann Spike is helping us to assimilate it's helping us to ascend which is right here it's helping us to connect to bring our light body our physical body into harmony into co coherence into balance that's why some the intensity the anxiety was me feeling to identifying with the personality too much, identifying with the body too much to the point where you forget your soul, that your spirit, that you're eternal. There is no death, there's only transformation, and you are eternal. So that is the reminder, if you haven't already, tap into that higher self because these light codes are helping us do that. That's what the Schumann Spike Incoming is about today. I kind of figured that because I'm feeling total, like I said before we even drew that card, euphoric. And it is so refreshing. It's like we just keep, if you're aware and you're awake and you're doing your work, it's just like this spiral of every time you might go through a hard a hard spot. Like the, the moon is in cancer today. I woke up crying and emotional. That's fine. I let it out and the next thing you know, you know, here I am in this feeling of euphoric and feeling totally connected to nature and these beautiful animals that I have here that are here for me, I should say. So one more message from the Moonology Oracle. Tap into your higher self. Emotions are running high. They are. Look what's going on on the earth plane, guys. People are in fear. 
people are beside themselves. People like myself are getting frustrated because people can't see through the tyran tyrannical shit that's happening. This spiritual warfare far deeper than political. This trying to infringe upon your sovereign body, your free will by telling you you're limited if you don't accept what they're giving you. Emotions are running high and how you can be that light and that beacon is to allow those emotions to flow through you. Don't argue with people. Let bygones by be bygones, right? In this Libra season with the energy of relationships coming to the forefront. We have a lot of planets retrograde. Mercury re went retrograde yesterday. So don't allow yourself to get pulled into the overload of information. Don't allow yourself to get pulled into conflict with people who are trying to project upon you. Emotions are running high. Reel yourself back in. We're not perfect. I have to do it myself. Tap into your higher self. And then we, re we carry ourselves in a way of not reacting. You can respond. But do it from the higher heart-centered space. Because there's a lot of people in fear right now. And they're projecting that onto people. So, again, don't argue. Me trying to feel like I needed to wakey-wakey people a long time ago is ended for me, thank God. So that is our messages today. I hope you enjoyed the journey. Thank you so much for being here. Give it a like. Give it a comment. It helps my algorithms. Give it a share if you feel called to. Make sure you hydrate, guys. Sending you guys so much love. Shalom.